Assalamualaikum and hi Welcome back to my channel For today's lesson, I am focusing on the literature in action For the second poem Titled The Day the Bulldozer Came Okay, from the title itself, we can know it is You know that it is very interesting What I like about the poems or the literature elements And materials involved in this syllabus Because two of them are closely related to the nature so in today's lesson, I include a short clip of a movie called Dr. Seuss The Lorax. I like the idea of the movie where Dr. Seuss is bringing the idea on the awareness about the nature itself. So we have the Lorax as the guardian and so on slur as um, who portrays the value of human who is always being pampered by their greed. So from this short clip, I hope that I can help to I can help to bring the main idea of this lesson and at the end of the day we manage to get some ideas and also some info from the poem where it is aligned with our main school today where, you, where we are going to analyze and interpret the poem and also we are going to see the view on why or the author or the poet um, using this poem and also convey their message by writing this poem I think that is all. I hope that you are gaining something from my video and you are ready to learn as we are going to learn and also improve ourselves together. Thank you very much everyone. See you. Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to my new video. For this week's lesson, I am focusing on the literature in action where we are discuss discussing on the second poem um, titled The Day. The Day the Bulldozer Came by David Orman. So in this lesson, we are focusing on the elements and also the meaning for each stanza. Okay, before we start, I would like a video. Okay, basically this video is from, uh, is a short clip where I take a third or a certain part from Dr. Seuss movie, uh, which is The Lorax. Our goals for today's lesson would be you need to guess at least two elements of the poem either the stanzas, the lines and also the rhymes and then you are going to create a mind map based on the stanzas where you can include the characters that were mentioned in each of the stanzas Lastly, you need to state the meaning of the stanzas according to your understanding okay, There are three stanzas and also uh, so they are going to be um, three main mind map for you to complete however again we are going to do this in groups where you are going to brainstorm your ideas in order to produce a wonderful and also a great mind map with a lot of information in addition i also provide you an activity where i am using the kahoot where i include a total of eight questions for you um, to check on your understandings uh, about this poem um, we are going to discuss on who is the poet okay who is David Orney so he is a full-time writer since 1986 based on the number itself we know that he is a very very um, passionate and also professional people in this field and he has published over 300 books, including the poetry collections and anthologies, fiction for children, non-fiction, and teacher's book. Okay, let us look into the poem itself. The day the bulldozer came. The day the bulldozer came. Rooks were building. Crazy in baskets in the oaks. Green flies sizzled by the pond and a cold eye toad waited for them. The day the bulldozer came, squirrels were scattering up tree trunks and leaped from branches that were hardly dead. The fox stirred in his sleep as the ground trembles. Ha <laughs> ha, he thought, I'm quite safe. Deep down in the earth, no one can get me here. Then the bulldozers came. 
Now we are going to look into the elements of the um, poems. We have listened on the um, audio about the recitation of the day the Buddha came. Okay, let's move to Okay, do you know what is stanza? Okay, yes, basically stanza is the paragraph um, included in the poem. Okay, let's see how many stanzas do we have. We have three stanza, include, including um, the verse with on the left. The day the bulldozer came, rooks were building crazy egg baskets in the oaks. Green flies sizzled by the pond, and a cold eyed toad waited for them. This will be the first stanza. This will be the second stanza, and these will be the third stanza. I'm sorry, there's no um, mark line. So, this first stanza, second stanza, and also third stanza. So, the number of the stanza will be three. There are a total of three stanzas in this poem. We shall discuss on the lines and the rhymes. Okay. Here are the lines and the rhymes that we are going to discuss. Okay, let us see. I'm sorry if the lines cover you. However, we have these two. First, we have the day the bulldozer came. Here, we are considering it as one. Okay, and then rooks will be ding. This will be two. The second line. Crazy egg baskets in the oaks, three. Green flies sizzled by the pond, four. And a cold eye toad waited for them, fifth line. And lastly, we have six line waited for them. So for the first stanza, we have total of six lines. Okay, my dear, we have total of six lines for the first stanza. Let's we let us take a look at the second stanza. The day the bulldozer came, one, and then squirrels were scattering, two, up tree trunks will be the third line, and leaped from branches will be the fourth line, that will hardly there will be the last line, which is the fifth line. So for our second stanza, we have five lines, and our last paragraph, or our last stanza, the fox will be the first Stirred in his sleep a second, and the ground trembled. Stirred, ha ha, he thought. Fourth, I'm quite safe. Fifth, deep down the earth. Sixth, no one can, no one can, no one can catch me here. Okay, will be the seven, and then eight, then the bulldozer came, will be the last line. So the total line for the Third stanza would be eight, eight lines. Okay, so let us look into the. Yes, we have discussed on the poison top where we have a very uniform and also same pattern from stanza one until stanza five. However, let us take a look into this poem. Is it the same as the poison top, or it is completely different? Let us look into it. Do you still remember what is rhyme? Yes, rhyme is, is the same sound of the end of the words in each line for each stanza. So we are going to look um, at the first stanza. The word came, building, oaks, pond, toad, and dam. Okay. Do we have the same, we have came as A, and then building and came, is it the same? No, right? So we are going to label it as B. Oaks and building, different. Okay, we have C, toad and pond, C, D, and also D, then would be E. That will be for the first stanza, where we have A, B, C, D, D, E. Okay, for the second stanza, the day the bulldozers came, we have A. Okay, we are not going to label it um, continuously, where we are evaluating the rhyme differently according to each of the stanzas. So, where we came, 
to the second stanzas basically we are restart we are restarting our progress okay uh, let's continue came and scattering okay what is the rhyme is it a or we get to label it as the new alphabet so scattering and came did not rhyme together we should label it as b okay and then we have up three trunks where we label it as C and branches, trunks and branches, C and also there will be D. Ooh, ooh, sorry, D. And then we have fox, sleep, trembles, thought, safe, the, here, and bulldozer, Kim. This is Kim here. We have A, B, C, D, safe and the is not rhyming, D, E, F, the and here also didn't rhyme, here and came also didn't rhyme, F, D, E, F, G and also we are, we have H here for the last rhyme. So the rhyme are not the same for each of the stanza. Let us look at the first stanza. We have A, B, C, D, D, E. Okay, A, B, C, D, D, E. And then second stanza, A, B, C, C, D. For the last stanza, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So we can conclude that the rhyme for this poem, okay, it is completely different from the one that we have discussed earlier. The rhyme for this poem would be a free rhyme. Okay, it's a free rhyme. The same spelling as the thing that we get without we need to pay free and then rhyme we call this as free rhyme because it is not uniform and it didn't have any similarities among each of the um, stanzas so we call all of these stanzas as a free rhyme therefore we can see that the day the bulldozer came is actually a free rhyme poem very interesting okay that will be the first part of the elements where we have discussed on the lines the stanzas and also the rhyme we have three stanzas we have several number of lines where the first stanza we have six lines second stanza we have five lines and the last stanza we have eight lines also for the rhyme we have free rhyme this is because the rhyme for each stanzas it didn't match, it didn't have the same rhyme at all. Therefore, we label this poem as the free rhyme poem. Now, we are discussing on the meaning of the poem. Okay, here we have three stanzas just now. We have several lines. We have first, we have six lines, second, five lines, and lastly, we have eight lines. We are going to do some activity here. Activity goes like this. You are going to work in groups of four to five members where we are going to create a mind map on the elements and the meanings of the sensors. You need to complete it in your group, okay? In group, where the more we work together, the easier it will be for you to complete the mind map. And then once all of you have completed, you just need to present your brilliant idea to the class where we are going to have a little bit of discussions on this topic. I will give you some time for you to complete it and then once you have completed we are going to discuss it together okay my dear students let us listen to your brilliant ideas i believe all of you have come with a lot of wonderful and creative ideas let us look into the first stanza okay let us look at the first stanza here okay First, I believe this is the lines, okay, the elements of the stanza first. First stanza, we have six lines, correct, okay, wonderful. And then we have free rhyme, yes, because the rhyme between, uh, the rhyme among all of the three stanza are not the same, okay, correct. So, let us look into the meaning. So, the meaning for the first stanza is, when the bulldozers came to the forest, rooks were making nests in oak trees 
Green flies were buzzing around the pond while a toad was waiting to eat them. Again, rooks. What is rooks? Okay, rooks is a type of bird. Okay, a type of bird. Okay, here we have rooks is the type of bird. Where the rooks, the bird, is actually making their nests in the oak trees when the bulldozers came. And then we can see at the lake, the situation at the lake where the um, stanza mentioned coal eye toad and the green flies were buzzing around the pond. Okay, and the toad are waiting to eat the green flies. Very good for this first stanza. Let's move to the next stanza. For the next stanza, we have five lines. Yes, correct. Totally correct. Then we are having the free rhyme for this poem. Very good. Let us look into the meaning. The meaning said here, When the bulldozers came to the forest, squirrels were scared and they were running up the trees. They tried to leap from branch to branch. But the tree branches were no longer there. The bulldozers had knocked them down. Okay. So, what is the meaning of leap? Okay. Leap is jumping. Okay. We usually, um, the word, the vocab of leap are related to frogs where they use their long leg to leap from one place to other place. So, here the poet or Making us imagine on how the squirrels are leaping from branch to branch. Branch is, you know, it belongs to the tree, okay? But the tree branches were no longer there. Okay? You can imagine how bad is the situation of the forest, the jungle, where we don't even have, the tree even barely have any branches for the squirrel to leap. So, this is the meaning for the second stanza. Very good. Okay, let's move. let Let's move on to the last stanza. Okay, we have eight lines. Yes, correct. Then we have free rhyme. Yes, all of this poem were known as all of the stanzas in this poem were known as are known as free rhyme because they don't match the rhyme um, synchronously uniformly from the first until the end. Okay, let us look at the meaning. The fox woke up from his nap, but he went back to sleep. Okay, this refers to the first and also the second line. He felt the ground shake. Okay, why does the ground shake? Yes, the ground shake because the bulldozer came. As you know, see, he mentioned, but he thought he was safe deep down in the fox hole. So the fox hole is at the ground, in the ground. Where the fox actually are is taking his nap. However, however, at the end of the day, the bulldozer came and dug him out of the soil. So neither the fox were safe when the bulldozer came. So we know all of these um animals, the rooks, the bird, tadpole, the flies, the squirrels, the fox. Even the fox didn't um safe in this situation. Okay, very good. All of you have completed a great job, have done a great job in completing the mind map. We are going to do some exercise using the Kahoot. Where I am going to test your understanding. There are going to be 8 questions. Okay, no pressure. Just answer this on your understanding. We have discussed on the input of this poem. Also, the questions are all based on the poem itself. Okay, we will discuss the answer together after this. Hi everyone, so now we are going to discuss on the Kahoot um, game that we have completed just now. What we are going to do, um, we are just going to answer some questions, 8 questions in the Kahoot. Okay. So if it's multi-select, so there are going to be more than one answer. Okay.
okay as it mentioned here so the first um, question what creatures are the first to see the bulldozers come so it is in the first stanza which is which are the rooks and also the toads as the squirrels are from the third stanza and also the fox is from the second stanza okay shall move for the second question, in stanza 1, what does the word them refer to? It is uh, on the last line, in the last line, it refers to the bulldozer. It shows um, how the bulldozer came to the location of the frog, the fly and also the birds, the rooks. Okay, next. So number three, what did the bulldozer do? Okay, we have a lot of hints on what did the bulldozer do in the poem from stanza one and to stanza three. So do the bulldozer preserve the forest, save the animals, clean the forest, or clear the forest? The bulldozer clear the forest. Okay, they didn't even preserve safe or clean however they came to clear the land of the forest and cut all the trees very good what are the roots building okay, the roots again is one type of the bird so usually what do roots build the root build a nest Okay, we shall move on to the fifth question. In sensor 2, what does dare refer to? The sense is that where the squirrel leap from the tree trunk up to the tree trunk and to the to the tree trunk will not be the answer. Squirrel, bulldozer or branches? Branches. Where it mentioned there are not much number of the three branches by using the word there. Okay, next question. Why does the ground tremble? This is in stanza three where the fox um suddenly almost goes to sleep and he feels the ground tremble. So the ground tremble because the bulldozer came. Okay. Where do the roots build their nest? This is in the first stanza. It is either on branches, lake or pond. It might be confusing, but the clearest and the most correct answer. Oak tree, okay? Yes, oak tree. Okay, the last question. In stanza 3, where is deep down in earth as mentioned by the fox? What does deep down in earth as mentioned by the fox? It can be pond, trunk tree, branches or fox hole. The keyword here is fox. Yes, fox hole. For information, fox hole is where the fox house is. Okay, where they sleep and they build the shelter um, in their fox hole which is um, yes, deep down in earth, in, in the ground, okay? So that would be all for our question today. Um, that is the answer. I hope that you get some information and also some knowledge on the poem itself where we have a lots of animals, elements in the poem. That is all for the discussion. We shall recap our lesson for today. Okay, everyone, that will be the last part of our session today. Mm, before we end, I would like to ask you what are the elements of the phone that we have covered for today's lesson? There are three. What are they? First, we have the stanza, the lines, and also the rhymes. Okay, how many stanzas involved in this poem? 
Okay, we have three stanzas. How about the lines? The first stanza, how many lines do we have? We have six lines. Very good. And then second, we have five lines. And lastly, we have eight lines for the third stanza. How about the rhyme? Do the rhyme actually um, uniform or synchronize from the first stanza until the third stanza? If it's not rhyming well from the first stanza until the third stanza, we call it as a free rhyme. So we know that the rhyme for this poem is a free rhyme because it didn't match any of the rhyme between each of the stanzas. I hope that you get something from today's lesson. I am very glad to have you in my video to this virtual class. Thank you very much for your participation and your hard work in completing the work and also the task. I hope to see you um, in the next video. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon.